since it's not always available, let's talk about making some ammonia nitrate NH4 NO3. Some info, this was first synthesized in 1659, quite a while ago, by a German chemist, Johann Rudolf Glauber. Johann did this by using the natural solid chemicals that were available to him during that time period back in the 1600s. But it was synthetically made first in 1909 by Fritz Haber, and he did that by mixing the nitrogen from the air and hydrogen from natural gas to make the ammonia part of this uh, ammonia nitrate right here. And he received the Nobel Prize for something known as the Haber-Bosch process in 1918, and this process is still used today. Because of Mr. Haber's findings, ammonia nitrate was first used as an explosive in World War II. Typically at that time it was mixed with gun cotton and used in bombs. Ammonia nitrate was also found to be a great fertilizer, and at one time it was used in instant cold packs, and it wasn't until recently, maybe in the last five to ten years, that they stopped using it. Ammonia nitrate mixed with just water is an endothermic process, which would turn the pack cold, but it's also a way to get a hold of ammonia nitrate by buying cold packs, so therefore it's no longer used, because there's just too many people getting their hands on ammonia nitrate to make some bombs. Some of the better known examples of using ammonia nitrate for a bomb was the AMFO bomb, which is ammonia, nitrate, fuel, oil, AMFO bomb in Oklahoma City in 1994, which blew apart a huge portion of a federal building that was eight stories from the floor all the way to the very uh, top floor. And then, of course, in 2020, about three or year, four years ago, the Beirut bomb that exploded. This was pure ammonia nitrate that uh, was thought to be breaking down and overheated in the sun, possibly, which caused that enormous explosion. You can find both of these online if you wish to look at them. Talking about these, I also remember, I think it was last year, that 60,000 pounds of ammonia nitrate was lost on a train somewhere in the U.S., I think the story came out that there was a hole in the train car and it just leaked out over literally hundreds of miles, but nobody knows for sure. So anyways, there's like 60,000 pounds of ammonia nitrate missing. In our process of making ammonia nitrate, we need sodium bisulfate, NaHSO4, 138 grams. We need sodium nitrate, NaNO3, that's a three right there, 85 grams. We need an ammonia solution, which is really ammonia hydroxide. Anything you buy in the store is quote unquote ammonia hydroxide. So we need this uh, to actually neutralize the acidic solution we'll get. We also need water. And in the end, we need methanol to purify our ammonia nitrate. The initial reaction will be between the sodium bisulfate right here and the sodium nitrate right here, which will give us nitric acid and sodium sulfate. When the ammonia solution is added, a couple other reactions will occur. First one comes from the nitric acid right here plus the NH4OH, which is ammonia hydroxide, the ammonia solution, will give us NH4NO3, which is exactly this, ammonia nitrate. That's how we're going to get our ammonia nitrate and water. The second one will be when the sodium sulfate reacts with the ammonia solution. It's Na2SO4 plus 2NH4OH. This is, again, the ammonia hydroxide. will give us 2NaOH, sodium hydroxide, and NH4-3SO4, or ammonia sulfate. When we mix the sodium bisulfate and the sodium nitrate right here, we're going to get nitric acid, and the solution is going to be acidic, of course. So when we add the ammonia solution, we're going to neutralize it because ammonia solutions are a base. It's got the OH group over here. For methods, we first need to dissolve our sodium bisulfate in a 300 milliliters of water. Then we need to dissolve our sodium nitrate separately in about 100 milliliters of water. And then we want to mix both of those solutions together. And at this time, of course, it will be acidic because we have the nitric acid mixed in there with it. Next, we'll start adding our ammonia solution slowly to neutralize this. We're trying to get a pH of 7. I'll be checking that with pH paper. And again, because the ammonia is basic and the NaOH is basic, eventually this will become neutral with a pH of 7. After that, we want to boil it to get rid of a lot of water until some crystals start to form. And even though the uh, sodium sulfate is involved with a reaction right here, this is in equilibrium, so there will always be sodium sulfate in the solution. The first crystals that form will be sodium sulfate. When you see those form, you want to stop boiling this solution. It's like an odd endpoint because we're making the ammonia nitrate, but at this point, once you put it into the freezer for 24 hours, most of what will form will be the ammonia nitrate, and through some filtering and then also with the methanol, we can purify the solution so we only get ammonia nitrate. I just said this. We're going to put it in the freezer for 24 hours once we see these crystals forming right here. And then we're going to filter it 
We're going to dry the solids out, which will be mostly the ammonia nitrate. Once they're dry, we're going to then dissolve them in methanol. It might take quite a bit because we should get a good yield from this experiment. When methanol is used, it's only dissolving the ammonia nitrate. All of the other things formed here do not dissolve well in methanol. So when it's filtered, we're going to keep the liquid that flows through the filter paper because that has the methanol, of course, and the ammonia nitrate, and that's it. So then we dry out that liquid and we'll be left with the pure ammonia nitrate crystals. And because there's no more whiteboard to write on, yeah, it's, we're at the end right here. See that? There, you can't write anymore, really. So let's go do it and make some ammonia nitrate. 138 grams of sodium bisulfate, pre-weighed. 85 grams of sodium nitrate, pre-weighed. I'm going to start to dissolve the 183 grams of sodium bisulfate in 300 milliliters of distilled water here. Okay, I'll be back. It took about 15 minutes and that solution is pretty darn clear. So I'm going to turn off the stir bar here. Adding the 85 grams of sodium nitrate to about 100 milliliters of distilled water. Okay, I'll be back when it's dissolved. The sodium nitrate is completely dissolved. Again, about 15 minutes or so. I'm now pouring the 300 milliliters of water that has the sodium bisulfate uh, dissolved in it into this one liter large beaker. And turn on the stir bar. A pretty low rate right about there i'm now adding the sodium nitrate solution and as i do this we're making nitric acid and we're making sodium sulfate i'm gonna continue to do this rather slowly i'll be back when i'm done the two solutions have been mixing now for about 15 minutes I have some pH paper here. This should be rather acidic. Of course, we made some nitric acid, so we're gonna check it though real quick here. Compare it to this table, and yes, definitely on the acidic side. So now it's time to add the ammonia, basic ammonia, and bring this closer to a pH of seven. You can really use any ammonia solution. Uh, it's just that the weaker ones are gonna be adding more water as you do it, which in the end just means you have to take care of the water. Uh, so this is around a 20% solution. I'm going to be adding this dropwise through this dropper. So I've added around 250 milliliters of the ammonia solution and um, I wanted to get the change on video here but uh, I ended up with something really close to seven with the last check. So I'm going to recheck it here on camera um, and you can see that if you compare this to the seven they're pretty much identical there. So we're going to call this uh, neutralized. The solution change, you can see a clear solution over here, changed to slightly yellow. So that was noticeable when it happened also. We've got the mix of solutions here on the hot plate and we're of course going to heat this, boil off a lot of water, at least until some crystals form and then at that point we'll put it in the freezer. About half the volume has evaporated right now and you can see on the top some very small, it'll never come out on camera I don't think, but uh, there's some tiny divisions, I don't even think I'd call them crystals. Well, in about 10 minutes, this is what happened. There are a ton of crystals bouncing around in there, and this thing is boiling so much that it's bouncing around on top of that uh, hot plate. So it's time. I'm going to turn this down and put it in the freezer. Okay, into the freezer it goes. We'll check back on it in about 24 hours. This was in the freezer for about an hour and a half or so, and I took a peek at it, and I immediately noticed that there were these crystals that were on the bottom here, that were different than the solution floating on the top. So I decanted this off the top of this, that's everything was in this beaker at once, and um, uh, these crystals right here are probably sodium sulfate, which is known to crystallize out of the solution uh, first, and most of the ammonia nitrate is gonna be in here. Now in the end, we're gonna wash this with methanol anyways, just to purify the solution, but I thought I'd speed up the process there in getting rid of some crystals, which are very likely not ammonia nitrate right now. So this is going to go back in the freezer until it crystallizes. All right, it is the next day. Let's check this out. And this is a smaller beaker, of course, I was talking about earlier. Look at that. A lot of crystal growth in there. Okay, I'm going to break this up and filter it next. Oh, wow. It's pretty thick in there, which is awesome. 
Okay. I tried to decant, I guess. I probably should have tried some of this earlier, but it all has to go in here anyway. So we'll start filtering this. You can see in there all those crystals. So, all right, I'll be back when I'm done. All right, I'm almost done here. Talk about a pile. Of course, there's a lot of um, liquid and solution mixed in here too that needs to uh, come out of it and to be dried. So we're gonna let this sit for a bit here before I put it on, a, on the uh, heater to actually dry it out good. Even though this is a pretty darn big pile of crystals here, there are probably some metal sulfates uh, in there so that's why in the end we're going to work with some methanol to clean it uh, which will selectively dissolve the ammonia nitrate as we talked about this has been dripping for about an hour it's slowed down a lot so i'm going to hopefully be able to do this without the filter paper tearing but um I'll transfer all of this over here and start drying it with some filter paper this has been air drying for about an hour and a half now and it's pretty dry but uh, I need to speed this up it so I'm going to go ahead and put it on the heater now. I did put it on a new filter paper here and to spread these crystals out and again whenever you heat ammonia nitrate for any reason do it carefully and slowly and with low heat. So that's what this is it's just a light bulb. Okay so unfortunately disaster struck Apparently when I was putting the ammonia nitrate on that light bulb heater, I tore the um, filter paper and the liquid that was still in there just ran out and started to run down and take some of the ammonia nitrate with it. I didn't see it for at least 10 minutes, what was happening, so I went and got what I could. So I gathered up what I could, what was still on the table, and this is it. So I have about a third of what we started with, unfortunately. Um, so. I will continue with the experiment. I will now be drying out the ammonia nitrate in this nice sealed glass pan. It's almost done drying out. It's finally dry. It's not nearly as much as I could have had, but I am grateful what's left here. Um, I'm gonna scrape it together and put it in a beaker and we'll dissolve it in methanol. Okay, I'm just gonna be scraping this out of here. Pretty hard, actually. This is gonna take some time. I will be back. Well, this is one of the hardest things I ever had to scrape off of glass. It took a lot of effort, but it's done. I think because there's such big chunks before we put this in methanol, I'm gonna grind it up good. Okay, done grinding this pretty much in a the powder there. I'm gonna now move it to this 500 milliliter beaker where we can um, start to dissolve it with some methanol. Okay, there we go. I'm now adding the methanol here. I dropped the stir bar in there and uh, I have no idea how long this will take. So I'm gonna wait till it's dissolved or as much of it as will, and then we'll take a look at it. I added another about 100 milliliters of methanol just to help it dissolve better. And I put a watch glass on top to keep the methanol from evaporating. I let this run a full hour just to make sure that everything that was indeed ammonia nitrate was dissolved. You can see there is some things in there that did not dissolve. So in spite of how that pan looked, it was a mix of things. So I'm going to take this now, turn it down and go ahead and filter it. Filtering the solution of methanol. I'll be back when I'm close to being done. I'm down to the very last bit here. This uh, filter paper is two micron filter paper, meaning that anything bigger than that, which is practically any powder or any solid will get caught in there. So I'm confident that whatever is going through is just the methanol and the dissolved ammonia nitrate in the methanol. Before we evaporate the methanol, I just want to show you the solids that are left on the bottom here. So these are mixed in there and did not dissolve in the methanol. So that is not going to be ammonia nitrate. Maybe there is a little bit left in there, but at least with the uh, methanol here and, and filtering this through, we're going to get a pretty pure product at the end. That methanol is so saturated that uh, there's some ammonia nitrate coming out of solution already. The methanol has finished dripping through. Again, a little bit more solid. You can see right there in the filter paper. 
and I'm going to now take this and swish it about quite a bit. There are definitely crystals in there, and those will be ammonia nitrate. This pan is actually clean from scraping it so many times. It has, unfortunately, uh, become a little cloudy there, but that's just the glass. And there's a lot of methanol here that needs to be evaporated, so I will be putting this on a heater. It's in the hot plate here, and we'll just wait. I'll check in periodically. As the methanol evaporates, we can see these really nice crystals forming here, also along all the edges. There's a very thin layer of methanol left, and it's starting to leave the pan right now. That sure is an odd pattern, but it is dry. All the methanol is gone, so all I need to do now is scrape it together. So I've got it ground up as best I can here, and I'm going to put it into the mortar and pestle. Grind it into a powder here, and then I'm going to immediately use some of it. Of course, we're going to try some in a flash powder. Okay, that's good for now. I'm going to grab a little bit of this right here. I'm going to eyeball this, of course. I don't have... Uh, any reason to weigh any of this because unfortunately as we all know I lost a bunch of it on the floor uh, so I'm just gonna put some in this aluminum cup right here and follow that right away with some magnesium and uh, of course from there I'll put a fuse in Just eyeballing it looks pretty close I'm gonna mix this together actually I'm gonna do this better off camera I'll be back okay mix it a lot better just gonna stick the fuse in here pinch this shut like so again this is just a test and to test our ammonia nitrate really specifically all right let's go light this thing all right lighting the flash powder made of the ammonia nitrate we just made some magnesium Okay, that was pretty cool, man. Not quite the right ratio to make a pop, but definitely worked well.